My name is Lisa Martin, and I'm the Human Resources Manager here at Wings. Um, first of all, I'd just like to say how honored I am to be here talking about our agency, because uh, it is truly a place uh, to be proud of and for me to share um, a little bit of my experience in our agency with you. So Wings is a nonprofit mental health licensing agency that provides case management services throughout most of Maine. We opened our doors in 1995, and we have six offices scat kind of scattered out through Maine. Uh, we have Waterville, Bangor is our main office, Medway, Presque Isle, Machias, and Ellsworth. Um, we solely provide case management services. Uh, we are one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, case management agency in Maine. Uh, so for that reason, we consider ourselves our, the experts because we are always keeping our staff highly trained, educated, um, and up uh, to speed with um, the information that they need to do their job appropriately. Um, though case management is the only service we provide, we have different types of case management. So when families go through the referral process, there is an assessment to make sure that they find um, that we put them in the right program that's best for them to meet their needs. Values are very important to us. We're very family focused and very family driven. Families are in the driver's seat and we work for them. Um, it's very important that people know that families make the decisions uh, that, that's best for their family. However, we help them navigate the system uh, in different resources to get their needs met or to meet their goals. We use the wraparound approach, which is very unique. It literally wraps around resources around the family. <clears throat> and that might be a combination of natural supports. And those are people who are not paid providers. So your neighbors, your relatives, uh, clergy, people that you have in your personal bubble. Uh, and paid providers and other resources uh, can also join the team again to make sure the family's needs are being met. Another goal of ours is to always make sure the family's voice is heard. Um, so that's another task that our case managers and care coordinators provide for their families. Today, we're looking for case managers and care coordinators in our children's program. Um, some of the qualifications for that is we do need someone who has completed their bachelor's degree we're really looking for someone that might have their degree in human services, psychology, social work, sociology, those core degrees. However, if you have an unrelated degree and you have one year experience working with children with special needs, we would absolutely consider that. We're also looking for an adult case manager for our adult program. Uh, the, uh, the population that folks would be working with would be adults with intellectual disabilities and developmental disabilities. This person would also require a bachelor's degree, social work, human services, <clears throat> psychology, but they also need one year of a specialized experience working with uh, individuals in the field. So that's very, very important. Um, I always tell folks if they are questioning their experience to give me a call or still to send in their cover letter and resume because I can look at that and give a better assessment to see if you're going to meet that criteria. Um, right now, hiring has been a little different uh, over the last year, but that hasn't slowed us down. We're still onboarding um, new hires as we normally would. It just looks a little different. So right now, we are all working from home uh, once or twice a week. Uh, folks do come into the office to do administrative tasks, faxing, mailing, making copies, and so on. But most of the work right now is being done at home in front of their computer using the Zoom program. So that's exactly how we would onboard new employees. Our orientation process typically is about a week and a half, of two weeks of structured um, webinars, um, lectures, reading. Um, there might be some um, PowerPoint presentations and a variety of different structured um, presentations during that time period. At that point, then we move on to more mentoring. Uh, folks go through a 10 to 12 week new hire group, which really kind of gets into the meat of the work, looking at the paperwork, um, job shadowing opportunities, uh, and really being able to talk with their mentors and supervisors about their skill development and what they need to work on next. We also provide a lot of great supervision, whether it's group supervision, individual supervision, we have a variety of other groups um, that people can join uh, to, again, improve their, their development, uh, but also to really be part of our agency and feel like they can give back and be part of a team. <clears throat> 
Um, we know that it takes everybody to make this agency work well. So it doesn't matter if you've been here and you just, you know, just graduated from college um, and this might be your first big job in the field or you have 20 years experience. We really want people to share their input and give us feedback and how we can improve things. Uh, we provide an amazing service for our clients, but we certainly want to make sure that we're doing our very best for our employees. Employee, employee satisfaction is so important to us um, and staff morale. So we're always looking at finding unique ways to try to celebrate each other and really be there for each other, especially over the last year. Um, Self-care is so important. Um, you know, we've still been able to do our annual celebrations and do our longevity awards um, and celebrate um, long, longevity awards and our ceremony. Um, we did our holiday party with gingerbread contests and door decorating contests. So even though things look a little bit different, we're still trying to keep that structure for our staff because that is so important. The work that we do is important, but it's hard. So we want to make sure that everybody's having fun. Um, you know, it takes a lot of training to, to get a, you know, case manager up and running um, and transitions can be hard for families. So we really focus on retention and what we can do to, um, again, keep people and have that longevity. Uh, I myself, I'm going on 17 years. I started as a case manager. Um, I can tell you that time goes by very, very quickly here. Um, and I can't see myself any other place. Uh, from time to time, people do ask us, you know, when people leave wings, why, why do they leave? And to be honest with you, a lot of people are finishing their master's, so they need to leave and go somewhere to do their internship. Uh, they've had other career opportunities uh, that would advance their career. Uh, we've had a lot of people move away um, and, and make the best decisions for their families. Um, so it's not because people don't like the work or don't like the environment. Um, so I think that's really important to mention. Um, along the lines of self-care is our wonderful benefits package. Um, it has changed very little over, again, this almost 17 years that I've been here. Uh, we offer two medical plans uh, that folks can decide which is the best fit for them. Uh, that's roughly, for an individual, it's roughly $21, $22 um, for one of our, our medical plans. That's pretty great. Uh, for a full-time employee, and actually to better explain that, we pay 90% medical insurance uh, for full-time employees. 100% dental coverage, 100% long-term, short-term AD and D and disability. Um, any of those benefits, uh, anybody can purchase at their own cost for their dependents. Uh, we do offer for um, part-time staff who work 20 to 29 hours. That's at a prorated amount. So I can certainly give folks more information on that if uh, somebody's interested. Um, unfortunately, right now, the only positions that we do have are full-time. Um, on top of that, we also have quarterly incentives, longevity tiers, and uh, merit increases. We have a wonderful benefit uh, vacation, sick time, holiday policy. The first year you're here, you're earning three weeks of vacation. Between your second and your fourth, it's four weeks of vacation. At five years, it's five weeks of vacation. Ten paid sick days, 12 paid holidays. Um, and we have additional ones, um, which you can certainly go to our website, but we pay 44 cents a mile for um, mileage reimbursement. We have a 401k plan. We have AFLAC. Uh, so we definitely have a variety of core benefits, but fringe benefits as well. Um, I'd like to take a couple seconds and just uh, let you know, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the best workplaces in Maine. Uh, we are very, very excited. We, uh, for the last three years, we, um, threw our name in the ring and we were lucky enough to get awarded all three years. Uh, in 2020, we actually were the number one employer for our medium sized group. And I think there was between 70 and 80 employers and we were voted number one in Maine. So you can only imagine how proud we are and that we work that hard at our relationships, again, with the team building and, um, you know, the door decorating contest and really still trying to, to support each other and have fun. Um, I have provided a lot of information for you guys. So I will kind of throw it up to you and see if there's any questions that you want me to answer or any areas that I haven't touched upon. Lisa, thank you and have a good rest of your day. Thank you.